Porefessional and the Makeup Forever Step 1 primers. I'm going to mix these two together. Next, I'm going to go in with the Estee Edit Pore Vanishing Stick. I have a lot of pores on my cheeks as well as my forehead, so I'm just going to run this over my skin to help minimize the appearance of them. For my foundation, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, and I'm also going to mix in the Beam Team product from the Estee Edit. This is just going to give me a nice glow to the foundation rather than just being flat and matte. The Elf Cosmetics Sponge, just going to mix a little bit everywhere. And if you see me looking to the left, I have one of those gigantic magnifying mirrors right next to me, so that's how I'm going to know if this looks blended or not. Next I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I love how the packaging matches my nails right now. I know, it's the little things, right? And you saw me put my foundation kind of on my eyelid. I also put this. So there's multiple layers being put on my eyelids because I want my look today to kind of last throughout the day and the only way to do that is to add multiple layers of coverage. So I just like to dab a little bit of everything on my lids. Now what I'm going to do is take the Makeup Forever translucent powder, put it on a powder brush and just leave it under my eyes because any of the fallout from my eyeshadow is going to end up on here. Close your eyes while you're doing this because there's going to be a lot of powder, powder smoke everywhere. I'm gonna go in with the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of burnt orange as well as golden ochre, mix those two together and create the base for my eyelid. Burnt orange is just such a nice, beautiful color, so perfect for fall. And these shadows are so incredibly pigmented and so incredibly creamy, it's amazing. And then I'm going to apply Primavera to the main portion of my lid. I'm actually going to use this Anastasia brush that comes with the palette. See how this brush works. Works pretty well. It's not as good as some of my other flat brushes, but it works pretty well and it comes with the palette, so that's nice. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Sigma E38, just kind of blend everything out. Ensure those edges are not harsh. I'm gonna take the Morphe MB27. It's basically a pencil brush and I'm going to dump it into Venetian Red and a little bit of Love Letter. These two colors are going to go in the outer crease of my eyelids, so I'm just gonna tap this off so we don't get crazy. And I kind of do this in like a little bit of a V formation. I get inside the crease and then sort of closer to the bottom of my lid just to get the color diffused properly. And I gently just take it in. Okay, now that I have a Venetian Red and Love Letter on my lid, I'm going to go back in with the Sigma E38. Just blend, blend, blend. All of this out, make it look much more natural and like it belongs. I think the key to beautiful eyeshadow is truly blending. I've been learning that over the past few months. And when I got this palette, I was like, uh, homegirl needs to blend, blend, blend. So. I'm gonna go back in with that Anastasia brush and then apply more Primavera. Just pack it back on to that inner corner and just kind of let it transition over into the love letter in Venetian Red. But I just want to make this front just a little bit more intense. Now I'm going to go in and take Tempura just on my fingertip and apply it to my brow bone right up here just to highlight things up a little bit. 
Okay, now what I'm gonna do is take burnt orange and golden ochre and apply it to the bottom lashes just to match the top. Next, I'm gonna just take a little bit of this antique bronze and add it to that outer corner. I just want to deepen things up out here. So I'm literally just adding it to the very outer corner on top of where I put Venetian Red and Love Letter. Back to the blending brush. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Brow Pencil. Putting on brows is my least favorite task of makeup, I'm not gonna lie. My right eyebrow always looks so much more natural and better than my left. Like, the left is all screwed up over here. So let's draw these bitches on. Next, I'm gonna go back into the complexion. We're gonna go in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer because you know I love this. You gotta make a silly duck face and then just get it into all of those areas of your cheekbone. Then I'm going to use the Estee Edit Flash Illuminator. This is a beautiful shade. It's number four daylight and it looks like rose gold. Basically apply just a little bit of this and then just dab it on my cheeks. And we're gonna take that other piece, put it over here because you need very, very little. And I always like to go back in with my beauty blender just to kind of make sure everything's blended well and kind of fits my skin. Now for my favorite part, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. I'm about to douse my face in sunburst right here. Yes, yes, yes. Are you ready to see this pop? I'm about to show you popping. Boom! Don't let me blind you. We're gonna go back in underneath the brow. More. I'm going crazy now. More. We're gonna put a little bit on the nose. Cupid's bow underneath my lip. Last thing I'm gonna do is actually take a little bit of dripping in gold right here and just put this where I put some of the bronzer earlier, just to add a little bit more of a glow to my skin. Not that I need any more glow because I matched my foundation with that Beam Team product from Estee Edit. I already put a lot of highlighter on. I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Just do one light layer of this. I'm gonna take the Anastasia Brow Gel, set these browsy brows in place. My right one is always so much more beautiful than the left. I'm gonna go in with the BHUE Pink Rose Liquid Lip. This liquid lip is the one that I've been wearing in all of my Instagram photos where I have a beautiful light pink lip. And I just overline my bottom lip as well as the top. Last thing I'm gonna to try to do is put on lashes. And I'm not doing this on camera because it's going to be a complete shit show. So please hold. This is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. Better tell you me.